everybody? It's Kurt. We're back. Working on the artillery shell uh, firework t-shirt fold. Uh, anyway, we're back to this uh, section here. This is the sleeve coming down. This is the uh, torso of the shirt. Got these little guys out here that I'm going to actually elevate. See if I can find something to stick underneath there. That's just temporary um, because I'm going to add some dark colors. Normally I would use a mixture of light and dark colors here. I think for this particular shirt I am just going to do um, mostly darks. I might put a line of something right up through here. I'm believing a turquoise for me. It's the, my choice. Anyway, the rest of the colors I want dark. So the dark navy, um, black, uh, because I want the focus to be out here on the firework. And we can do some other stuff here, but the main point of the shirt is right out here. So I'm gonna grab favorite turquoise color. This is a custom colors, uh, vivid turquoise. Um, one thing I've noted about Dave's colors is uh, they're true to color. So here's the very front, uh, like down where your <coughs> private parts are. Um, but I'm going to make a turquoise line that goes up through this corner and back into here and it will create a lower shield, so to speak. I'm just gonna dump it on kind of haphazardly. I don't really have an idea of what I want it to look like, but I like the turquoise. Dumping it on there. I want the turquoise will be taken over by the darker blacks and the blues. So adding some extra is not going to hurt anything. I don't think so. Might make some happy accidents. I've got a dog scratching the door, so I'm going to have to take about a 30 second break to let the dog in. Be right back. of the Perseid Meteor Shower 2018 is happening right after sunset and the sun has set but it's still light outside. So that was our turquoise. I'm just, because I love this color and I think every, this is another custom color, Deep Lime. It's my favorite green. It's mixed at, this is two to one the vivid turquoise most blues are three to one for me uh, the cool thing about uh, changing the ratios up um, you can make a lighter or darker um, shade just by adding more or less of the soda ash I'm just I'm not gonna go all the way across the same way I did with the uh, turquoise but I'm gonna put some in spots It's okay to put extra of this as well because it will be taken over by the blue or the dark. I'm just going to dump it on right there because there's going to be some colors coming down from that. Because I want this part here to be uh, those little tracers that you see going up, you know, uh, 
the fireworks as they're going up, those really big mortars. I'm gonna put a little yellow right out here, and this is more of that clear yellow. Might come back in a little bit and touch this up. The bands here are fairly tight. So I want to try to keep as much color as I can just in those little points and then I'll do darker colors back here right behind it. Um, since we're there anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put some strong orange right in that spot behind that band. right on top of it, doesn't matter. Same thing there. Because I want that to really stand out, I'm going to add some black to that right now. This is Custom Colors Dark Black, um, 2 to 1. Good stuff. It is the best black I've found so far. Um, usually has to have to mix. Most blacks pretty heavy. Um, this is two to one ratio, and it is a perfect black. I can only imagine what one to one would do. I haven't done that because this gave me the exactly what I was looking. The reason I'm putting this black on is that orange and yellow uh, start to run. It'll run into this area here, and I want those little guys to stand out against the background. So they'll have color, but this black will be preceding it or, you know, right behind it. I have this out anyway. I want the very bottom of the shirt. I want it to be black. I'll probably put this away and come back to it. I'll do that with some of my colors. That's another reason why I leave them right out there in front of me. You do whatever uh, suits you. Modify this process if you can to fit your needs. But you have to have several things. You have to have the soda ash water. You have to have the heated water. And I guess it's really up to you how much soda ash you want to uh, ratio your dyes with. I found the colors work fine with the ratios I have. I'm not covering everything here. I want to come back and do some navies. I might do some cobalt blue or royal blue. the sleeve alone for now because I'll actually probably turn the table or the uh, rack around. So it works for me. So I don't have to reach way over. Block your view. Time to start stacking. I'm going to go ahead and get this wet now. Because I want to find out where that turquoise goes. Since I'm up here well, close to the tip anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy a little damp. Don't necessarily knock all that dye off. 
just so it starts some saturation and as long as you have that a little wetter than this black here then the black won't take on all the color out there on those tips because gravity is letting that water run down and into the black if that were more dry that cloth out here then it would start to take on more of that black wick up into it as long as you keep the water flowing over it it won't uh, it will still wick somewhat but not near as bad as if you just left it dry and just worked out here in the black alone Sometimes it's good to get a little black in some of those little crevices. You'll see it creeping in there as you're dyeing it. Yeah, I can see it on that back side of that one. That's great. It just gives it some texture, some effect. I'm turning this pump up now. Kind of, I have found this to be quite like gardening or something else. I'd really like to take my hands off of this process and have it automated. We're working on that. start to work on those folds with that uh, blackhead remover until I get a good saturation. You could actually I guess sometimes I will uh, poke dye down into the fold before I get it wet if I want a certain color to stop at one point I'll put that darker color on first and get it laid down as a stopping point when that brighter color runs into that dark and it just stops abruptly. Uh, my Phoenix shirts, I do that somewhat. I also, well, there's other tricks in that video, but you'll have to see that one. That's a very popular style, very popular design. I really do enjoy sharing this information um, because uh, I've seen some work that's come out of the folks that have tried it on their own and just to see them uh, develop five or six or ten levels in a single stride and then to see their excitement and then to see their pages really start to take off their uh, sales yeah at some point maybe we'll saturate the market with uh, tie-dye and all we'll do is do them for ourselves you know I don't have a whole lot of my own shirts but once in a while I'll make a special one just for me I've got a Phoenix I don't have an Eclipse Eclipse pretty popular last year this time. We had the uh, Eclipse over North America. We were out here at the farmhouse actually uh, with grandkids and kids and friends and it's 
pretty awesome if you didn't get to catch it. I got that saturated well enough. I can use my blackhead remover and pry some of those up because I want to make sure that turquoise gets down in those folds because we're going to go back over it with those darker blues. Love that green. Emerald, emerald green was my green of choice, but this deep lime. <whistles> turquoise too, this is that custom color, vivid turquoise. Seriously, everything I got from Dave is just perfect, dead on. Even for my process, I don't know what they mix the liquids at if they're using liquids. But I wanted a vivid turquoise and I got vivid turquoise. I wanted a black. I got black. I don't know how he mixes it. It actually looks red in the jar. Kind of freaked me out. I had to double check with some people to make sure he uh, didn't mix something up. I believe it was Mr. LB that said, uh, Oh, you got the good stuff. Good stuff is right. It's. Uh, I was impressed with the uh, depth of the black. Hope I'm not boring you all too much. What does a pig say? What does a pig say? Screwed the heck out of you, didn't it? It's really fun to go into a bar and be sitting at the bar and drinking with maybe some loud dance music going in the background, people all around talking, and you do that, and all of a sudden. People stop and look around and say, what was that? I've never done it before, but <clears throat> yes, I have. And you just go on about your business like, uh, what was that? Something under the bar. Got an honorary streak about me, that's for sure. There's still some skeptics out there that uh, don't believe the color fastness in these shirts are there. Um, change your mind about what you've known about tie-eye. What you've known about the 24-hour wait. What you've known about, dude, my stuff keeps washing out. What am I doing wrong? I add more soda ash. I have not had a single. I've had some bad design shirts. I've not had a shirt since doing this process. Uh, experimentation and otherwise um, that the color has faded. 
the very first shirt that I did, I still have, and I was using hideous tulip colors, but, and there's a lot of white space in there, but for what I was doing, using it for, I had to try again, and again, and again, and again. And 16 months later, I'm sharing it with you because I want you to know about it. Uh, it could be a game changer for you. I'm not big headed or a braggart. Uh, but seeing, truly seeing people's work that was good. Don't get me wrong, it was good. But night and day looked like a completely different artist. Completely different. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Bambi. These instructional videos are for you. I want you to know. I hated tie-dye before I started this gig. I disliked it. It wasn't very unique. Of course, I didn't get into the... I know there's Mike Martelli and... Is that right, Martelli? And Wojcicki? And Timothy, uh, those guys inspired me early on in these groups, but I didn't even know this world existed. Not, I mean, I saw Grateful Dead folks with some pretty cool t shirts. Shandy Burroughs, forgot about Shandy. Does some awful sweet uh, pieces. Not only does she die, she does some eyes. Uh, her, her husband, one of the two, uh, actually hand paint stuff on the shirts, and they are fantastic. Fantastic. Find your niche. Come up with some new designs and share with us. Come on, you'll love it. All right, enough silence. I wish I could listen to some rock and roll, but uh, the uh, copyright police kind of got on to me uh, a few days back. So one of my videos had some music in the background. I'm not trying to profit from anything. Um, okay. Uh, let's see, we have worked our way up into this uh, deep navy. I think I'm going to go ahead and at least carry some of this uh, vivid, vivid turquoise on up. Uh, maybe have it come across here so it's at the back of the collar. That's the back of the collar, here's the front of the collar. Um, but I want to carry that because the uh, 
the shoulder uh, seam is right in here and it would look I think it would look very sweet uh, going over the shoulder there and then again more darks on top of that We're gonna go with some vivid turquoise. This time I'm gonna open up the folds and pour the dye in because these are so tall, these folds are so high. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. What I really, really have a hard time believing about this process is how long has the tie dyeing been around? I, I mean, they've been dyeing cloth for thousands of years, but anyway, out of all the 60s and the hippies and tune in, turn on, drop out. Can't tell me someone didn't contemplate a faster way. I'm. I was just not suited for. Uh, I'll wait in line at a grocery store. Be fine. I'll wait in line at a convenience store. I'll wait in line in traffic. I'll wait in line as long as everybody, everyone around me behaves. Uh, at a stoplight, I, you know, I don't have, but waiting to open my t-shirt for two days or 24 hours up to two days, ooh, that's a little much to be asking of somebody, isn't it? Less for me. Where are we at? Are we still even recording? We're at 27 minutes. I'm going to carry this on for another couple of minutes and then shut this off. I was hoping we could get all this done, but I've been busy yakking my jaw. Since we've got this dark navy, I'm going to throw on some sapphire blue there. This is a, this is a nice rich blue. Said I was going to wait on this, didn't I? But I want to try to get this done, so. About time for a pee break anyway. Let's wipe this out. caverns in there. Can't really see it from your vantage point, but see how loose these are. I can open them up without too much pressure on those bands. 
we're moving up towards the sleeve. I mean, you can still do some cool stuff on the sleeve, and sometimes, depending on what I'm trying to do, uh, but typically I leave them pretty loose because most of the design is on the front, but you can get some really neat uh, textures and one square inch of fabric may have six different colors in it if done right. Alright, where are we at? Alright, let's stop there and I'm going to come back and uh, I'll actually finish this without the camera. You get the gist of it. Uh, I'll flip it over on the other side and we'll start from there. Okay? Alright, see you guys. Bye.